Socrates, Copernicus, Galileo, Michael Winslow. Because I opened the door, man. <laughs> These great men have shaped our understanding of the universe. They have shown us what is truly possible as a species. Visionaries that not only observe, but question our very existence as we spin a million miles every second through the great chasm of space. They are truly monoliths on the shores of genius. Every few hundred revolutions of our fragile pearl, we, as a species, produce a standard, a foundation in which all knowledge and growth proceeds. But if we direct our gaze to the fringe of genius, we encounter new and promising talents. JP is on that fringe. His music weaves a tapestry that ensnares our imagination into the very fabric his notes create. Like great men who came before him, he too has desire, a thirst for something more, more than the intangible fruit of knowledge dangling before him, but a yearning for definitive answers to his impossible queries. J.P. was born in Austin, Texas in the year 1980. He discovered at an early age the power of music. With its capability to harm or heal, J.P. came to the realization that one cannot just create music, but has a responsibility to harness music's sonic powers for the betterment of mankind. Skipping traditional school, J.P. submersed himself in ancient ways, excelling in the drum technique at an early age. He learned to harness his inner strength. By the age of seven, he was able to break six sheets of ice. After mastering martial arts, he was sent away from his dojo in hopes of spreading discipline and mercy in his travels. Science would consume him for the next chapter in his life. He was the second youngest person ever to be accepted into MIT. His major focused on lasers, specifically alternative energy sources. He went on to prove many groundbreaking theories. Unfortunately, his research was used to develop a weapon for the US military. Learning this, JP dropped out of school, but not before sabotaging his own work. Fed up with man and his contemptible ambitions, he set out to touch the stars. He enrolled in space camp. For weeks, he trained diligently, seeking to become the youngest captain of a shuttle mission. But, as the fates would have it, through a flaw in design, he and his crew were lifted from these earthly bonds into space. JP, drawing on his training and discipline, successfully piloted the shuttle back to Earth. But it was his friendship with a droid named Jinx that JP would carry with him after he left the program. It was the experience he needed to mend ties with his estranged robotic father. JP then returned to the place of his birth. Having so many unique experiences to draw from, he wanted to share them with the world. But how? Most of his life had already been turned into blockbuster movies without him knowing. Not right now. The girl's gotta have her standards. Music would be the key. The key to unlock man's potential for good, for peace, for happiness. He formed a band a band he hoped would set a new benchmark. Built by Snow released two albums. The album Noise in 2007 stunned listeners with its awesomeness. In 2009, they released their second album, Mega. The title served as a warning to those adventurous and daring enough to listen. Soon after the release of Mega, JP had to take a moment to reflect. Mega was so powerful. It drained him, artistically and physically. But knowing his responsibility, he pushed on. From the comfort of his home, he continued his work, always finding the boundaries of what is sonically possible and taking a bold step over that line drawn in the minds of the listeners. Listeners are anticipating his newest release, 
under the guise of Oh Look Out. The album All Line, 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 September 27th, 2011, will be a day to remember. A day when all mankind will move forward. A new standard will be set forth. A foundation in which all knowledge and growth proceeds. <laughs>